You want to start a business with YouTube? You want to get started creating a podcast? Purchase our new ebook and get all the information you need for only $10. My name is ATM Ray, and I will offer informative steps, advice, and ideas to seek potential success in YouTube and podcasting. Remember, get all the information you need for only $10. Link is below or above. Melanie. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Once again, my name is ATM Ree with All Time Media. Our whole purpose is giving a voice out to the voiceless. So can I call you Mel for short? Yeah, that's fine. Is that yeah. the nickname you usually get or? Yeah. Okay. So how's everything, Mel? Um, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's another day in Kensington. Another day in Kensington, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where you from? Um, I'm from Northeast, like, uh, I mean, my family's from Alany, but I grew up in Rising Sun and Cotman, mm-hmm. at Northeast High School. And uh, I went to Washington High School in the far Northeast, the okay. Summerland area. Okay. All right. Are oh, you saying you grew up in the far Northeast? Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between Northeast Philadelphia and out here in Kensington? What's the difference? <laughs> there's a lot, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of difference, uh... For one, it's definitely not as dirty. It's not dirty at all, actually. Uh, um, there's no, like, I mean, I'm sure people do drugs, but there's no trapping or, you know, getting high in front of cops. What's trapping for those that don't know that terminology? Selling drugs. Okay. Uh, definitely not as many bugs, you know, <laughs> roaches and all that fucking nasty shit. It doesn't smell. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a nice place to live. Yeah. Are you battling any addictions at the moment, Mel? Yeah, I'm on um, fentanyl and crack cocaine. Okay. How long have you been dealing with these two substances? Uh, fentanyl since 2016 and hard crack since... 2019, on and off. 2016 and 2019 is not that far away, man. So do you consider yourself a late bloomer or? Oh, definitely. I, yeah, I, this wasn't even like, I get, I didn't see this happening at all. It was kind of like something happened and I just used the drugs to, you know, cope with the, something that happened. So, so you went you went through some things in life. Right. And, and your choice to, you know, escape that was the drugs, basically. Right. I didn't even do do drugs before then. I didn't start with Percocet or anything. Like. So, you know, before your addiction, what, what was going on with you? What you had going on in life before the addiction came about? I had a lot going on, man. I, I, was, I was doing the damn thing. Like, I was a dancer uh, for 10 years. I traveled the world, Europe, America. I went to music festivals. I've seen so many people live, like thousands of people. Um, you know, I had my own apartment, nice ass car, a lot of money. I had, a, I had it, things were really good. You had it going on. Yeah. As far as a dancer, like what type of dance organization or? Stripping. Oh, you was a stripper? Yeah. Okay. And you wasn't using at the time, right? Nope. Did that lifestyle introduce you to it or no? No. No, not at all? Do, so was you traveling, dancing and stripping and stuff, different clubs um, or? I just travel. I didn't, yeah, I mean, I I went to a couple different clubs in PA in New York, but I mainly had one place that I was at and. Okay. Um, yeah. It, it was a great time in my life. Okay. That's for sure. Do you feel comfortable speaking on the turnaround? What what caused the turnaround? You know. Um. Yeah. It, my ex fiance got deported, and um, they wouldn't let me into his country, and they wouldn't let me uh, him into America, and it was like really tra- traumatic for me. I lost like my best friend. So. Yeah. Um. So your fiance, aka your best friend as well, 
was deployed to England. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mel. It's okay, I'm over it now, but... <laughs> but that was about 10 years ago, right? Uh, no? Not 10 years ago. Seven, but. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Right before your addiction started. Yup. So how would you introduce? Did somebody say, hey, try this? Um, I actually went to somebody that I knew that was supposed to be one of my best friends at yeah. the time. Who I knew did it, like, once in a while. You still be able to... Do you, oh, you don't keep in touch with him anymore, right? Nah. Uh, with who? The uh, fiancé. Uh, not really. I mean, we talk once in a while, but... Nah. Yeah. So that friend dibs and dab with the, you know, the substance, was it the same substance that you use right now? Yeah. Yeah? One of them. How is their life going right now? Uh, not too good, honestly. Uh, he's actually, like, this gay guy uh, uh, I met at my previous job, and he was living with his boyfriend, who was actually my friend first. And, yeah. But <clears throat> he ended up, up kicking him out because he wouldn't stop using, and he was spending all my friend's money. Like, yeah. my friend just bought a house in West Philly and, like, redid it. So he ended up breaking up with him, and me and him had already, I already, like, cut ties with him at this point. Yeah. But uh, then I found out that he's back to doing gay porn. And, uh, I mean, he always told me he would do that if my friend broke up with him. So I guess, hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm not knocking nobody's hustle. You Whatever know. you gotta do. Yeah. So how's your living circumstances right now? Not too good. I'm homeless at the moment. Um, trying to figure a lot of things out. I yeah. know I want to go into treatment, but I also am trying to get housing because I have a one-year-old and I need housing if I'm if I'm going to be able to get her back when I'm clean. And I know that they have funding for it right now, so. That's my main goal is to try to get both of that, yeah. those things done. So you're actually homeless at the moment? My house burned down in 2020. Your house burned down? Electric explosion. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Which was crazy because me and my husband, we we would always be in our room. It, ha it happened in our room. Yeah. And the couple of minutes that the fire started, from the, it was an electric explosion from the outlet. We both weren't in the room, like, for oh, a couple shoot. minutes. Yeah, that's wild. It, yeah, that's so crazy, wild. obviously we're supposed to be here, so. Yeah. Mel, you've been through a lot, man. The last <laughs> few years in your life. Yeah, it's been crazy. You've been through a lot. Um, like you said before, like, this turnaround can happen at any moment. You know, you was traveling the, the world, right, or the country? Mm -hmm. Traveling the world, you was making your money, you was living your life. You know what I'm saying? Now you, you're battling addiction dealing with homelessness and everything. And my mom keeping... just also died of, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but she just died from crack lace with fentanyl. Your mom? Yeah, uh, she had just started smoking last summer when I was in a mommy and me program with my daughter. Wow. She, she actually had... went and knocked on my old drug dealer's door in the Northeast because she remembered dropping me off there and started copping from them. Wow. Yeah. So, so you lost your mom as well. That's been a really like hard thing for me to like. I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, it sucks. Was she using yeah. before, or that she was no, the first time? No, not not like she dry, She was never like had a problem really with anything. Like yeah, she dabbled with stuff, but it was never like she just did it kind of to just cause she was just chilling. Like she was just, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it it wasn't it didn't become a problem in her life, you know. Yeah. Not, I'm so sorry about like, that. How, it is with me. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. God bless her soul. So what are you doing to keep your head high after going all, to all these tragic things back to back to back? What are you doing to, you know, is it just the drugs or is it? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I'm using that to cope with the situations because when I don't have it, that's when I start really, like, thinking about everything. Like, mm -hmm. hey. And it sucks, but uh, I don't know. That's why that's why I need to go into treatment for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, at least you got you know you got your one year old. 
know what I'm saying? On the bright side, look at that. You yeah. know, you know how people are saying, oh, there's no light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, but she look, is. Look at that. A... Yeah, she is. You know what I'm she saying? Is she is she not with the system or anything? Is she with a family member? No, she's with my dad and my stepmom. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Shout out to Pops. Shout out to stepmom holding it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. They really are. What are you doing to fun for your habit nowadays? Um, I boost. Okay. How is that? Like, how is it like, you know? It's getting harder and harder every day. Why is it getting harder? Because there's so many of us and mm -hmm. <laughs> none of the, n nobody has jobs anymore. Like, I mean, my first couple of years of my addiction, I worked every day. Like, yeah. I didn't do, I wasn't even down here. But it just seems like nobody, they're, they're all boosting. They all, all the stores know about what's going on. It's on the news. Mm -hmm. um, security's getting tight. The, even the employees, like, so it, they're, they lock, they're locking shit up. It's really hard. They're locking people up. Yeah, it's really hard to get away with it. I mean, I just got arrested the other day. I'm lucky that they let me from, out. From boosting? Yeah, in Benson, I'm not allowed to enter any Target. No targets at all? Nope. How long was you in jail for when you got arrested? Just a couple hours. Okay. I, I have no priors, so... I mean, I got lucky with that, but... And it was in Ben Salem, so... Yeah. I don't really go there, but... It is easier up there because nothing's locked up. Yeah. Down here, everybody's... They're all hip to it, so... Because was a big thing out here. Yeah. Now it is. A couple of years ago, it wasn't like this yeah. at all. When the PUA money hit, everyone got used to easy money and not mm -hmm. working. They're not working. And now they want to keep doing that. Did you get some of that PUA money? Hell yeah. How much you got of it? All of it. Okay. Like 20-something 20, 20 thousand dollars. 20 thousand dollars. Where did it go to? Shit. It, when my dude got out of rehab, it was gone within a month. I had $25,000 saved. It was gone in a month. Mm. And I, I mean, mostly went to drugs. Now, when the last time you ate? Um, couple, uh, right before I seen you, actually. Okay, that's good. You're feeding yourself. Yeah. You're feeding yourself. I definitely lost a lot of weight, but. Yeah. Now, what you it's feel It's hard about? to eat out here. I mean, it, why it is really, it? Because if you don't got your, uh, even if you have your food stamps, it doesn't last long. And yeah. I mean, most of the times I got to steal it to eat yeah. no, like really i mean they bring food down but like at the wrong time sometimes yeah how are you supposed to know when they're gonna bring it down like, so you guys still to eat most of the time right mm -hmm. do you still fool too or yeah yeah people get mad some wow wow please chase me on grip me up on my arms mm -hmm. i got wounds all over my arms he's gripping me up mm -hmm. because i saw a snap lap on it ooey gooey like you yeah. would have thought that I was walking out of there with like a hundred rebels or something. Yeah. Chased me down the boulevard. Oh man. I see you you wrapped up a little bit. Did you you begin your wounds taken care of? Yeah. You went to the hospital stuff? That's good. I don't play with that. That's good. People are losing limbs left and right. It's yeah. crazy. It's yeah, they are. It's not It's not no joke, right? No, it's really not. It's scary. It's scary. I mean you can just smell the infection in the air, like it's mm. nasty. Oh, you can smell the infection. Oh, that's tough. I know you've probably smelled it walking around here, right? I probably, uh -huh. probably have. It smells like death. Oh, shoot. It smells like a decomposing body. Shh. It's disgusting. Yeah. Mel, just a couple more questions, then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. I know it's been a lengthy <laughs> interview. <laughs> but, you know, if you was to get clean, do you feel like you have a support system? Yeah. Like, y'all ready to get clean? Do you feel like you got people to have your back and help you out? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Now we rooting for you, man. ATM Re, <laughs> all time media. Nice to meet you guys. Yep. Who'd you tell the youth, Mel? Who'd you tell the kids that's out here getting high, that's stealing to eat, that's going through what they're going through? What advice would you give them? Um, you say keep your head up and that you they try to get some help because there is help out there and. It might seem like things aren't going to get better, but I know from experience that uh, things do get better fast when you go into treatment. Like, 
You can get your life back together. All right, Mel. We rooting for you. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. You got a support system back home. You get back to that one-year-old man. Yeah, get off these yeah. crazy streets, Mel. All right. Blessings <laughs> you. to you. You too. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind-the-scenes content and face-to-face -face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.